as all of these investors were within this environment here, uh, the meetings that I've had all morning were with uh, different types of investors from different parts of the Arab world. The Arab Youth Startup Marketplace has launched as a platform for connecting investors with startups, with government entities, with media and other members of the ecosystem. When you put all of these ingredients together and you have strong government support, it will ignite aspects of the ecosystem, especially for the sector of youth uh, that is uh, critical to the Arab world, especially that the majority uh, of the population is below the age of 30. Uh, they're very well uh, uh, connected from a mobile perspective, internet connectivity perspective, and understanding and usage of, uh, of, uh, of technology. My team and I work with investors to de-risk uh, their investments in startups. So we work with the startups to help them grow by acquiring new customers. And we prepare them to have better and more productive discussions with the investors. Uh, our participation today was very valuable at the uh, Arab Youth Startup Marketplace because as all of these investors were within this environment here, uh, the meetings that I've had all morning were with uh, different types of investors from different parts of the Arab world. Getting them under one location uh, and being able to do this, these, the same meetings if I wanted to do them, I would have had to spread that over months in different cities uh, and across different schedules. So having all of them here in one area has accelerated uh, uh, things forward. So this is one small example of what uh, such, uh, uh, such an initiative can do. So when you multiply that with more than 100 startups with the Arab world, investors, government support, media, uh, uh, different government entities, you, you see that this level of acceleration scales all the way through, uh, throughout one, one hub out, out of uh, the Arab youth startup marketplace uh, uh, in Dubai. Uh, the value for the startups has been, not only has it been access to investors, but also uh, be able to talk with other founders, to be able to uh, learn from other challenges, and a lot of them are similar. From my discussions, I see many founders have similar challenges, so it really helps psychologically when they feel that others in different cities are going through the same thing. And also, they now have, uh, have act, they're able to reach out to the marketplace and get access to meetings and insights and, and mentorship via uh, via this marketplace uh, marketplace platform, in addition to definitely the, the media coverage aspect that they have. So I have Ramsey with me here from Techstars. Hey everybody. Techstars has just launched in, uh, in Dubai to cater to the, uh, to the Middle East as a whole. And uh, I'd like to more, know more from you, Ramsey. What value did you have here uh, from being at the uh, sort of marketplace today? Yeah, for sure. I think it was an awesome initiative by the government to bring everybody here in one place, growth companies, early companies, founders of all sorts of diversity and backgrounds. And I think, again, it's about exposure them to the community, us to the entrepreneurs, but also the cross-collaboration that they have with each other. Right? I think it's really important for them to meet each other from their own different sectors and different focus groups, but also just knowing each other as a community of peers is, uh, is really valuable. That has segmented uh, uh, value to investors, yep. value to uh, accelerators such as yourself, yep, yep, yep. Uh, value to the government, value to startups. So let's segment for each. Sure. What do you think is the value for each from being here together yeah, today? So obviously to the investors, it's potential deal flow. It's opportunities for them to help create business development opportunities for their for their teams that are coming into Dubai, kind of beyond just the, the format today. For Accelerator and tech stars such as ourselves, I think it's an incredible opportunity to see the top companies in the region all in one place. And thankfully to the PMO office, has done a good job of literally bringing them all into Dubai, covering the cost, and making it easy for them to be in Dubai. And that's invaluable for the opportunity to see all these companies at one time. So I spent a few hours today just taking all the teams I was interested in, walking upstairs to the DFA office or the coffee shop, talking more with them. Where typically I'd have to set up a few emails, you know, send some links and have a conversation. We're here. I literally just grabbed them, we talked, and we connected. I, I was just uh, sh sure. sh sharing the same earlier that yeah, yeah. I had an investor meetings all day today. Doing the same thing would have taken me four months traveling to different cities exactly. and maybe exactly. having that. With this, I was able to. So what I'm saying is these small things that, that, that it's in the big scheme of things, it's small for you and small for me. But add them all up to everybody who's it's here. Compounded. I mean, it's, it's compounded, compounded absolutely. Sure, absolutely. Sure. And I think, again, for the entrepreneurs, 
to be energized by being in a, in a space like the Emirates Towers and the future space of Area 21, Area 2071, and the ability for them to really connect with each other. Again, part of the, the missing component or the growing component is the community, right? I mean, Mina's a large area, and people from the outside view it as one homogenous place, but it's not. It's not. Right? Bahrain is different than Morocco. Morocco is different than Dubai and Saudi. And I think for them to come together, share their experiences, connect on different platforms in different ways, and then also just have a way to bond with each other, it's invaluable to, to the global region. What advice would you have for startups who are act who were participating here? They're selected to participate here. What advice would you would you have for them, either at the event or even moving forward yeah, after yeah. the event? For sure. So if you're going to be in Dubai, do your research, jump on LinkedIn, find people who are relevant to you, and make the time for the meetings. Otherwise, it would have been expensive for you to fly out on your own tickets to set up times for you to say that, hey, I'm with the PMO office today, you know, for, for, for the next couple of days. And we're here, we'd love to meet. Are you available? Can you meet at the Emirates Towers? Can you come see what's happening here? There's so much value to that. I think we should take advantage of the best of opportunities and the best conversation that come out of them being in Dubai. Uh, Techstars has the cohorts uh, uh, closing soon. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, for sure. So Techstars is launching the first GCC-based program based out of Dubai. We're focused on smart cities, IoT, and industrial te technologies. And for us, it's not a Middle Eastern program, but more of Dubai as a hub to the global expansion of a lot of companies. So we're, we're, we're recruiting from Korea, Southeast and Asia, Europe, Africa, and the States to bring companies here for three months, starting in January in Dubai, uh, and help them basically scale their businesses, raise follow-on funding, and help do the best we can to be value-added entrepreneurs, the way Techstars does. Good luck with that, man. Thank you. Man. Yeah, See you soon. Cheers.